Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time, we were able to restore the Sand Kingdom to its normal warm weather self. Today, we're in the Lake Kingdom, and the Brutals are over a said lake, and we need to go ahead and confront them. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at the brochure. Forgot to do this for the Sand Kingdom, so the next time we are there, I will make sure to do so. So here we are, the Lake Kingdom, the Land of Beauty. And clear waters. Once again, I'm not going to read through all of these, but um, feel free to pause the video at any point if you'd like to. We do have a new coin to collect, the scale-shaped coins. The locals are the lock ladies. And we'll be doing some window shopping while we're here, of course. They're known for their fine attire creations. And here is a cool gimmick. That you'll be seeing in this level. There are some zippers all around. I don't know exactly how that fits in beyond just the clothing aesthetic and gimmick. So we'll be doing that and we'll be meeting Dory, our aquatic buddy. So there you go. So the three keys to the Lake Kingdom visit the water plaza, especially if you enjoy breathing air. Swim with the local Dory for an unforgettable experience. Apparently, the local Dory is um, grammatically known in that sentence as like a it's like a noun, but also not... An, anyway, admire the gown that qualifies as a national treasure. So, we'll be doing that, of course. First, let's go ahead and get some of these scale coins. Those are the new coins of the area, like I mentioned. And here's one of the lock ladies. Just gonna go ahead and introduce the conflict. The ever-encroaching moon behind us. Oh, they stole the dress. Who would have guessed? We'll have to get that back. Of course. Cannot stand for that. Looks like there is a music note puzzle. If we remember these. Oh. I just don't want to go up because they're on the floor. Probably just blew this. I'll try to get them all. It's a pretty generous amount of time. And I still didn't do it. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. I don't actually know what you get for this. It's probably, if I had to guess, a, um, a power heart or something along those lines. But yeah, if I wouldn't have swam up to the top, then I would have been fine, but I goofed. Not a surprise. We'll try this again. Yeah, that's a pretty generous amount of time. Oh, you get a power moon for that. Okay. We'll take that. The power moons in this area are a nice kind of rosy pink salmon color. Every kingdom has a power moon aesthetic that is a different color, so just something to keep in mind. And actually, some of the kingdoms don't have power moons at all. So that's something else of interest. Oops. That's all the wall. You, that's other wall. That's the wall. You can't run into that. Of course, we're going to be doing a little bit of exploring in this area as we normally do. And to our left. No, those are not uh, Skyward blocks that we're going to be working with, but this is actually a gimmick in the game that we will be working on later. That's actually post-game material. Surprised Cappy doesn't know about it, because Cappy claims to know everything, so... Anyway, we'll jump up here. I don't think there's very much we can do in this lower area yet. We can gather more coins, which are super useful if you're prone to dying. Which we will not be doing a lot. There's a bird up here. Back off, bird. You're not real. This looks like a zipper down here. Who would have guessed? There's a little bit of an outline there, so you can kind of see what that is. And when you unzip your pants or your wall, whatever you're into, make sure that there's nobody around. There's usually nice goodies inside. Whatever you're into. Just be careful. You don't want to wind up on a list. Okay. We can also come over here and take a peep in this. You can see the nasty brutals as they fly around. Ooh. Motion controls. Was not ready for that. As you can see, they are just keeping it real over there in their airship. 
Oh, that said I broke the stairs. Like, excuse me, I didn't do anything. I'm just here to help. And underwater, we've got a uh, little 8-bit sticker for Mario 3D World. That was obviously the Mario game that came out right before this one. Those are the only two that have been out so far in like eons. So Nintendo, let's uh, let's get it moving. All right, and another experience here with the zipper. Like I get it, it makes sense. It's like a silly little gimmick, but I guess they just wanted to do something funny and they sure did. But yes, watching out for these spikes, of course. If you land on them, they hurt you. Kind of a, a new novel idea, but make sure when you're under the water that you are being careful to not run out of oxygen. You're going to need to fill up that little green circular meter so that way you can get the treasure in the spiky waterway. I also love um, this is wonderful. I love this. Mario's big cheeks. Both sets, of course. All right, let's see if we can snag one of those air bubbles and proceed on. We're gonna be accosted here by some very grumpy seaweed. Get out of my house, I don't want you here. You're not welcome here, I'm a seaweed. All right, let's go ahead and have horrible camera physics and try to get it away from me. All right, okay. Now here's actually one of the best captures in the game, in my opinion, is the cheap cheap. Yes, look at this, viewers. Oh, fish never have to worry about air. Isn't this amazing, viewers? Look at it. Oh. I just love that I have a mustache. We also have an attack. We need a little spin attack. Spin attack. Okay, now he got rid of the. Uh, the dumb, whatever you want to call that, words. I'm just gonna take a second here to, you know, not doing this for like a thumbnail or anything, just hanging out. Oh, it did it again. Well, close enough. I'll probably be able to find a perfect frame in there. But yes, as a cheap sheep, you can swim all around, up and down, whatever you're into. We're actually trying to get these um, power moon chips. This is not something that is foreign to us. We've done this before. And I saw on the other side that there were, where are they? Yes. Some more of the local coins. Gotta stay underwater too. We don't need to worry about being underwater, but above water will cause some troubles for us if we're outside of the... Oops, the H2O for too long. We don't want that. There's actually power moon in here. The cheap cheap crossing, very cool. And there is a health, I almost said hearth, health refill if you need it, which we probably will at some point. So I am very good at running into things. All right, let's go ahead and visit Dory here. Steal the power moon off its back. The Dory back rider. Dory doesn't need it, we need it. Thanks Dory. I feel like that has been Dory's been a staple of Mario since at least Mario 64 in various capacities in uh, the Hazy Maze Cave. Dory is one of the featured creatures. All right, these guys are really getting on my nerves already. I don't know if we have a way to get rid of them yet. But how about we take a second? I'll shut my fat mouth. So you all can just enjoy the ambience and this beautiful music under the sea. One thing that Mario games never fail to do is produce wonderful, authentic, scene-setting music. And if you don't like that, well, you can get out. All right. So we're looking for one more of the moon ships? I don't know if I saw it yet. I'm also really good at being oblivious, so not having seen it is nothing unfamiliar to me. More of these. 
Oh, look at that. We jump out of the water. It's very cute. Whoop. There we go. Oh, it's inside. Oh. How do we get in there? Well, it appears that we're going to have to actually abandon our cheap, cheap power. <laughs> what is that? Get out of here! Exactly. If you don't like it, you can get out. Thank you. Is that Bowser monster still out there? He sure is. There's a beautiful shop display on the second floor. Of course, we'll be doing a little bit of window shopping like the brochure mentioned today. Checking it out. But apparently the finest treasure of all, currently, unable to be purchased. All right, thanks, Takatu. Appreciate your help. It's cryptic as always. Don't remember how to do anything in here. I know that we probably have to jump down. What did you say? Yeah, you're the window shopper. Maybe we can swim up here. Oop, there's another one of those Mario 3D Land stickers. Hello. That's right. We're not dressed our best. So that's one little hint that you'll notice that um, this game does is kind of like, it's meant to be like a cultural thing, I guess. Like every single, um, every single world that you go to, the kingdoms, they have their own various shops here. The crazy cap, which you'll be able to find. Oh yeah, thanks. I'm trying to help you. And going in here, you will have the option to buy certain things. In which case, it's a piece of attire that fits the area you're going into. And yes, we will be buying something from all of them. There's two sides, of course. So we have the regular coins that we get everywhere. And then we also have the coins that you get from buying special outfits that are unique to the area. So you can come in here and you can use your hard-earned cash monies to do this. You can also buy yourself a Power Moon. So we'll go ahead and do that. Hundo coins, Power Moon, pretty fair exchange. Inflation though? Jeez. All right. And then we can come over here to the other side and you can buy yourself an authentic Lake Kingdom swimming outfit. So this, of course, uses the the specific coins that you get from each individual land. In this case, it's the scale coins. And we will go and come out of the closet with our brand new outfit. We're wearing the goggles. I forgot to put the hole set on. Let's go ahead and do that. That looks pretty good. What do you think, viewers? Oh yeah, now we're ready to rock and roll underwater. I'll be trying to do this for every kingdom that we go to, because it's fun, and you get to see all the various set pieces that they had in mind for Mario. And of course, there's also going to be, um, how do I get this? Can I stand here? Is that fur enough to get these? Maybe we gotta jump. There it is, high quality. Excellent pro move. I want to say that I can pot. Hold on. Well, let's go ahead and hit this. Take that, Peach. Run your 8-bit face. Those little stickers have more to do with the game later. Not quite right now, but... We are dressed for success. Oh, yeah, I'm ready to swim. Fun fact, I don't like swimming. I don't mind it, but I don't like it, per se. It's not really my favorite. But there's the Lock Lady dress stand. Unfortunately, not currently available. Some dastardly deed has been done to this. I don't, I was gonna say something with another D. I don't have another beautiful word for D. Delaborate, that's not, that's not a word. Um, dress, yes. But now that we are Mario, we can continue unzipping. Ooh, this looks like a ba -ba -ba bonus. Let's try it. 
There we go. Yeah, usually when you come into any area with like the little golden hat design, that means that it's a bonus. And this is basically just gonna be a, a little tutorial to get your flippers wet on using the zipper mechanic and other things of that nature. Each of the worlds typically has their own little gimmick with captures or just with physical set design. Is there anything else I'm supposed to do over here? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, so I'm just gonna explore a little bit. Once again, I don't have any sort of like muscle memory for any of this. It's been a long time since I've played this game. And I don't really feel like I did the game justice in my initial playthrough. As a youth, I say that, but I was not. I was actually still an adult when I first played this game, so... A younger adult. Whoa, there's a ton of Goombers over here, and they're covered in pee. Okay. Whoa, it is like an infestation. I don't know how any of you feel, but uh, any sort of large amount of anything, I don't know if there's a word for that, but any large collection of something all in one space, definitely I'm one of those people that gets weirded out by that. So I'm probably weird. The way that my brain is wired, probably pretty weird. There we go. Grab that power moon, unzip the chasm. Only with people you trust. Don't unzip your chasm if you're in public. That's kind of a bad move. All right. That looks like that's just an empty void. Is that all this is? I saw that this opened up a little bit over here, but I don't quite remember. And I'm taking very basic jumps. Normally when I play Mario games, I love to do long jumps, but I do not know what I'm doing. This feels very risque. Maybe it's meant to be a little bit like that. How do I get over there? Oops, excuse me. Can I long jump to that? I would like to leave, please. Please. All right, uh, I don't think I can do that. I'm gonna try though, because I do love risks. Oh, there was hidden blocks. What is this, lost levels? Okay. Oh, geez. Am I supposed to get that one way up there? Did I mess this up? Well, it's still here, so. I don't know why in my brain I was like, how do I do this? Oh, does that kill you? Oh, it just floats down. Like, that would have been real cruel. All right, well, there's the second power moon. I don't, I don't know if there were only supposed to be two here, but we actually almost have enough power moons to move on, technically, from the Lake Kingdom. Okay, is that all that was? Does that, does that just lead to nothing? All right, well, that didn't feel very super secret. Let's take a second to get our bearings here. Uh, do we just leave the way we came? And are these key, are these, oh, these are blocks that are just created with a little bridge. Huh. I guess I probably could have done that first. When in doubt, whip your cappy out. Okay. Once again, have no clue what I'm doing or where I'm going. I don't think I went this way yet. Oh yes, I did. Do I get anything if I kill all these guys? Maybe. Kind of makes me think of like the uh, like the tech demo for Super Mario 128. That's the I don't remember what gaming convention or whatever that was meant for, but um, how do I do the the spin a Rooney? That's what I'd like to. Figure I don't know how to do the majority of the different cat moves yet, because I'm dumb. But I'll figure it out eventually, I think. Maybe. Oh, looks like I can't unzip this. Oops, excuse you. But yeah, that's uh, the tech demo that they used, where eventually Super Mario 128 became the impetus for Pikmin. Which I think is great. Am I supposed to do Leap of Faith? We're doing it! Whee! Nope, that kills you. So maybe you're just supposed to kill the Goombas that way instead of one at a time like a dingus. I feel like I got everything from here. 
I mean, I can just go back out, right? Okay, fair enough. Cool. I don't know if that's the way that that's supposed to be done, but that's the way that I did it. And uh, viewers, if you don't like that, well, you can go window shopping elsewhere. All right. Let's see if my uh, intuition was right and my thumbnail choice was going to be good or if I'm going to pick another choice later. Oop, I am almost low on health. Or not low on health, low on oxygens. Need more air, please, anyone? Let's go ahead and capture one of these cheap cheeps while I look around. They don't need any of that stinking oxygen. All right, now I need to figure out how in the gosh dang... How do I get in there? How do I enter you? Just like that, okay. Get out of there. Who did put this rock there? I don't actually care it for the moment. I would like to backflip off of it though. Okay, maybe not. Trying to... Excuse me? Okay. Just trying to use this to... Get above it. There we go, okay. It's actually the final power move of the area. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab that. He did put that rock there. I don't know if I can explode it. The moon shards in the lake. Okay. So that's pretty good. Um, we have not gone to the watery depths below, so we're going to go ahead and sink way down into this butthole below. This is very deep. Just got to keep doing this a few times. It's very annoying. I don't know if we have enough oxygen to make it all the way down. We're going to try. As long as we have lives, we'll keep trying. This is all the way down to the bottom. I don't know if you can do this any other way. If it's meant to be like this, because you can't take a cheap cheap inside, unfortunately. All right, well, we made it. And look who the heck it is. My goodness. It's Captain Toad. How's it going, bud? Haven't seen you since Mario Galaxy 2. Yes. Probably also tough to swim with that big head. Oh, thanks, Toad. Free power moon from our bud. Let's go swimming, Captain Toad. All right. How about it? Good question. Maybe try swimming. Okay, so that's another power moon. And uh, we'll come back next time and we will sort out the Brutals who are way up top here in the Lake Kingdom. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been... Super Mario Odyssey 2, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!